Tio, please. Hey there, this is Tio bringing another Kerbal Space Program video. In today's video, I had a a, a random event that I thought would be worth capturing. I rescued a Kerbal on my career mode, Rory Kerman, and everything was going fine. This is a, a simple mission I've done dozens and dozens of times, but had a slip of the hand and accidentally hit the keyboard instead of uh, shift. So staged my <laughs> return vehicle and lost my engine and fuel. So I'm stuck in orbit above 70,000 so yeah, 70, 70, meters and no way to get back down to Kerbin. So ordinarily I would press F9, load my last quick save, but I didn't do a quick save because again, this was a, Simple mission I've done dozens of times, so I have a couple of options, and I decided to test one that I've never tried before. I've, you know, seen this on online when folks have had trouble getting uh, either getting into orbit or getting out of orbit. And one option is always to tell your Kerbal not to get out and push. So I need to get my periapsis below seventy thousand meters. Right now it's at seventy four. So let's see what happens. Let go. I'm, my craft is space, uh, facing retrograde and it's locked to retrograde so if i nudge it it should stay oriented in the correct position so let's see if i can push so there you see my eva propellant you can kind of see my little jets and let's give this a nice push i bet if we get to i don't know use up 25 percent or even you know 50 percent of our propellant we should be well below 70,000 meters I've never done this before except for a second ago that's why you saw a tiny bit of propellant was missing it's because i did get out and push and i was like wait wait a second i should capture this on video let's see 3.5 let me get down to two and a half units of propellant and then we'll jump back inside the pod and see what kind of a difference that made again i just need to get below 70,000 meters and then i can time warp go through the atmosphere a little bit get back around time warp and eventually i'll uh, i'll land but if this is working might as well use up all of my propellant all right that's good enough for now let's see what kind of a difference that made 63 kilometers nice okay let me use up the rest of it so if i can spare myself from having to do multiple passes through the atmosphere i will let me keep pushing. Get out and push, Rory. And every time it goes in the command pod, it does refuel his propellant. So nice. I, I need to check and see. Maybe it's taking propellant out of the pod because the, the pod does have some propellant, I believe. And that would make sense. Otherwise, this would be broken and you could infinitely propel yourself through space using your EVA pack. Well, I don't know why you would want to do that. <laughs> right. Last time I went from 74 to 63. I should be well into the atmosphere this time. And my apoapsis is pretty low. It's low enough so that it might drag on just the first pass. Oh, there's, there's the Kerbal Space Center. Passing right over the KSC. All right, that's good enough. Try to get back inside. And there's a little island airstrip. Board. 54. Yep, that'll have to do. I wasn't locked on prograde or retrograde that time. Oh, not target. Orbit. It's time warp. Yeah, and as we touch the atmosphere, our apoapsis will start to drop. Once that gets below 70, that means we're landing. And we can't time warp more than four times, but let's see if we made it on my one pass. Already, I would say it was a success because, again, my periapsis is below 70. So technically, I will re-enter. It might take a while, but I eventually will land. But yeah, my apoapsis is dropping. Periapsis is still dropping. So yeah, I'm definitely going to land on this first pass. Sometimes you'll skim through the atmosphere 
leave the atmosphere again and you'll skim again and you'll slow down each and every time you pass. But if you can get your periapsis low enough, get enough drag, you will land. Yep, it's going to be below 7. My apoapsis is below 70 now, so I'm officially going to land without having to leave the atmosphere again. And there's the pod, there's Rory's capsule. I set it as debris so that it'll disappear on its own. So yeah, this officially works. If you don't quite make it into orbit or you, you're in orbit, you need to get out of orbit, you can tell your Kerbin to get out and push. So, thankfully, I had all my parachutes on the pod, which is usually the case. You would never stage them below the pod. But uh, I was so close. I didn't want to. I didn't want to give up. I didn't want to have to reload a different craft, or and I didn't know when my last quick save was, so I didn't want to hit F9 and then accidentally jump back for well, you know too long. So I went ahead and re-entering. Got my contracts complete. Rory Kerman was added. Yep. Don't get a lot of credits for saving Kerbals. This far into career mode, that's not really the point. The point is getting cheap, free Kerbinauts because they get very, very expensive later in the career mode. I think there's a mod that addresses that, but for some reason, the game the creators thought it would be uh, necessary to scale the cost of the Kerbinauts for some reason. They get stupid expensive. Millions and millions of credits. Once my speed gets around 300 meters per second, I like to deploy my shoots. Because I'm still slowing down, technically. That'll work. That's it. That's it for this video. Get out and push. Is a success. Appreciate you tuning in. If you got something out of the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And uh, that's it. Hope you, hope you got something out of it. Appreciate you tuning in. See you next time. Bye-bye.